The name of Aachen refers back to the ancient Celtic god of healing and the god of hot spring waters. Roman soldiers were particularly attracted to hot springs and often built settlements nearby. The salts in the hot water increased the buoyancy of their bodies and helped relieve their pain and exhaustion. The troops felt that they were floating back to health. It was the hot springs that originally attracted Charlemagne to the area, but he was not the only big name to come to Aachen. Casanova came here on three separate occasions, but he was always cleverly disguised during his visit. Didn't want anybody to know that his sexual powers were being uh, medically enhanced. And the Empress Josephine came here because she was having problems conceiving a child with the Emperor Napoleon. Fortunately, however, Josephine and Casanova were never here at the same time. For centuries, mineral springs were thought to have magical powers that could heal the sick. Sometimes the magic was attributed to the water and sometimes to powerful spirits who were thought to live in the water. It really didn't make any difference to the people who came for relief, as long as they got better. The original springs in Aachen contain hydrogen sulfate, with an odor you will recognize because it smells like rotten eggs. People drink it and bathe in it and give it credit for an assortment of cures. Our water contains a lot of sulfur, and if you had an operation, for example, at the knee or at the hip, then you can train in the water, or you do special exercises, and that will help you on walking again. During the 1800s, the hot spring became the preferred hangout of the rich and famous. They felt that a couple of weeks at a spa would rejuvenate their health. Problem was, the environment in the spa was very relaxed and open, and these guests, totally on their own and away from their families, were getting into hot water. <laughs> <laughs> 